Uh, we do have a verdict in the trial of celebrity attorney Michael Avenatti, who has been found guilty on two federal charges for wire fraud and aggravated identity theft for stealing $300,000 from his former client, Stormy Daniels. Alexis McAdams has the breaking details for us right now. She's live. Alexis. Hi, Martha. That's right. This happened just moments ago here. So as you mentioned, Michael Avenatti has been found guilty on both of those counts of one wire fraud and two aggravated identity theft. That means he faces more than 20 years now behind bars if the jury was able to find him, which they did guilty on both of those counts. Now let's get to what we know so far about everything that unfolded in court. This went on for quite a few days here inside of that federal court in Manhattan, and there was a lot of things that were happening there. This morning, though, we talked to Michael Avenatti as he walked back into that federal court courthouse in Manhattan saying that he was optimistic that trial Martha lasting about 10 days with 15 hours of deliberations after the prosecution called nearly a dozen witnesses including Stormy Daniels. Now the adult film star told the court that Avenatti lied to her every day for five months claiming he cheated her out of nearly three hundred thousand dollars in advance money from her book deal. Prosecutors say Avenatti used Daniel's signature to send a fraudulent letter to the publisher asking the company to put that money in a bank account that he controlled. So then the court detailing how Avenatti actually used that money on personal expenses like hotels, meals, and even a monthly payment for his Ferrari. So Stormy Daniels very upset about all of these developments while she was inside of that courtroom here in Manhattan. Avenatti representing himself after he fired his public defenders on day true two rather of the trial said that he did this all because he had the good faith belief that he was owed the money and thought it was not wrong to take it from Stormy Daniels. Throughout deliberations, those 12 jurors told the judge they were actually struggling at several points with the charge of wire fraud, setting out three questions about the case, and on Thursday asked to see the full testimony again from Stormy Daniels so they could take a closer look at also Avenatti's defense here, which was, as he mentioned, he took that money, that $300,000 that he used to pay off his car and his employees in L.A. for his law firm because he took it in good faith. So back in 2018, as we've talked about, Daniels and Avenatti became well known as they appeared on TV together to talk about her alleged affair with former President Donald Trump. Daniels actually hired Avenatti to get her out of a non-disclosure agreement. That NDA came from Trump's lawyer, Michael Cohen, at the time, who reportedly paid Stormy Daniels about $130,000 in hush money to stop her from speaking about her alleged relationship with Donald Trump before the election. So once again, just wrapping that up, Avenatti now facing more than 20 years behind bars after he was convicted here in federal court in Manhattan. And Martha, this is not the only case that Avenatti is dealing with. He uh, also has to serve a two and a half year prison sentence already for his conviction after he reportedly tried to extort Nike for $25 million. So he has that going on. And then also he has another case out of California where he's accused of stealing millions of dollars from clients there. So still a lot more that needs to be done. But it was interesting hearing throughout this trial here in federal court in Manhattan, Martha, that Michael Avenatti said the whole time he was 100 percent innocent, but the jury thought differently. Indeed, the jury did think differently, and he is in a lot of hot water. Alexis McAdams, thank you very much. I just want to bring in for a couple minutes here attorney Brian Claypool, who has been watching this with us. So he faces on the wire fraud char charge alone uh, as much as 20 years in prison. Brian, what's your reaction to this verdict? Yeah, hey, Martha, great to be with you. I'm not surprised at all. I mean, I think he, I think the evidence was pretty clear that he, he sent a letter to Stormy Daniels' publisher pretending to be her and said, hey, send that first advance into uh, Michael Avenatti's client trust account. I mean, clearly he was intending to defraud her. And quite honestly, I'm surprised that the jury took so long because a lawyer with integrity, Martha, their best defense here would have been, hey, I have an engagement letter, right, with my client that sets forth how much money I'm supposed to get for helping you get a book deal. Where's that engagement letter? There was no engagement letter. That would have been his best defense. So his human behavior alone, I think, convinced this jury that he intended to defraud her, and he never had any reasonable belief that that money was his. Yeah. Um, we're going to be with Admiral Kirby in just, uh, just a second. I just have, you know, one more question for you. He chose to defend himself. Do you think that was a mistake, given how this played out? Um, I, I think it's always a mistake to have a defendant represent themselves. Mm -hmm. I, I think you need a neutral voice. 
uh, to to advocate for you because jurors are they're going to have trouble believing you, Martha, because you're you're advocating for yourself. That 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 that's human nature. You're going to say that I'm I'm innocent. So I, I I think that that was a big mistake. And by the way, he's in a ton of hot water out here in California too for allegedly stealing millions of dollars from clients and also for bank fraud and and bank wire bank fraud and bankruptcy fraud. Well, it wasn't that long ago he was a star of uh, other cable news networks, and some were even suggesting that he should run for president. I think he suggested that at one point. Um, Brian Claypool, the story of Michael Avenatti, a major fall from grace for him uh, as he's convicted today on wire fraud and identity, uh, aggravated identity theft. Mike, uh, thank you very much, Brian. Good to have you jumping in here for us on the breaking news. We appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.